old are you now? Uh, turning 20 this year in May. Okay, you won't turn to nothing else. How old are you now? <laughs> I'm 19. Why are you 19? <laughs> How old are you? 18. Okay. Are you hoping to? Do you think you'll win this year? Oh, it's a long season. I can't say anything. I would know for 2019. What is your plan? Ah, so try to do. New car, new dinner. Ziva Khan, the 18th season. What are you hoping for? Honestly, points. Give you a lot of pressure. Really? But he is always there for me. That's on the Wamsa board. It's your mom that's so busy in it. It must be tough. Whoa. Sitting at home at night and saying, Dad, I'm racing against you. I'm not holding back for you. This is tough for you. Yeah, it was always a... Uh, sort of banter between the two until it became reality. Good morning everyone. So I'm sleepwalking here at the airport to get to Richards Bay. Uh, it's like quarter to six now. So I've been up since five o'clock. Me and I'm him today. And yeah, tough life. Right, here we stand with Jason Lusmo. How's it, Jason? Yes, man, how are you? Nice to see you, man. We travel a long way to come see you, so there's some importance here. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> are you good? Yeah, doing well. That's good, man. How are you feeling coming back into 2019? <laughs> oh, new season. Uh, when we reflect on 2018, it was a good season for uh, myself. Um, wasn't in the top running for most of the season, but uh, towards the end, uh, we just lo uh, lost ourselves a bit, but we found it again. So 2019, we're looking strong. We've already got new developments going. Uh, lots of weekends in and out. Uh, so we're hoping for a good season. How old are you now? Uh, turning 20 this year in May. Okay, you won't turn to nothing else. How old are you now? <laughs> I'm 19. Well, right, you're 19. Why do people always say I'm turning 20? Because I'm 19. You can't turn nothing else. But the bigger number just sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you know what, actually, you are one of the youngsters that I look at as a hot-headed boy, okay? You can lose your cool at times. How do you have to learn to change that? Because that's how you are. And then you've got a dad that will cut at you when that happens. Tell me about that. Uh, it's when you, you, you start doing well and you know I, I ended 2017 on a relatively high notes with coming out four wins you know I'm new to this thing and I, it was a good feeling then once everyone started getting quicker you have to change your 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 mental uh, and your physical game and um, I've, I've had heated moments sometimes but you know what it's hard to, see, you need to see a person in their bad form and their good form. I've, I've let myself down quite a few times, but you know what, I don't regret anything about it because in those circumstances I was under a lot of pressure and I had to learn how to deal with it properly and get across you know, at it. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, whatever you do in life, what you have to take out of it is learn from it. Yeah. Because if you don't learn from it, you're the idiot. Yeah. But if you learn from it, it makes you a better person going forward in life. Yeah. You are hot-headed, finished. There's no story about that. I, I've seen it. I, I know I've, I've come through with all your racing already. And I'm sure it's tough for you. But is it true if I say a bad loser becomes a winner? Or a bad loser makes you a winner? I'm a bad loser. Finish. I don't care what people say. Because I need to win. Yeah, everyone wants to win. It's the way you take it when you lose. Some, sometimes you take it badly, sometimes you take it well. Um, but you always learn from it and hopefully become a better person in the future. When you're in your car and your dad is next to you on the outside and your mom is either behind you or in front of you, what's your thoughts sitting there? You know, the thoughts always on my mind that there are family members around and you have to watch out for them. The racing is hard. But the last thing you want to do is get in between relationships with family, which through some races it's been on the edge where it's coming to family and 
Um, yeah, your dad I, doesn't give you an inch. He never no, give you an inch. Won't, but I think he doesn't because most people think he stands up for me. So I'm having to drive harder to get past my dad because my dad's not giving me an extra edge. Whereas maybe see if you really get him, it's a bit it's a bit easier for them. And and in your 2019 season, what are you hoping for? Honestly, points. It's it's a long season. Um, you you sometimes get stuck into a night and you, you forget about the long run, um, and then you end up throwing a night away and you're like, damn it, you know what? I think could have. I think all the guys are starting to realize that this is no more one-off SA Championship. Yeah. Where it's at one night where you have to go out. You have to think about your seven races or the six races coming after yeah. that, and you have to tune your brain to know that I have to go easier because that's how Rudy won it. Yeah. You know, uh, everybody says CF, CF, CF. There's Rudy. That's yeah. in the back. Winning or not winning, coming second, coming third, qualifying second, third, fourth, but keeping his cool all the time. And that is what made him win it. Do you think you'll be able to keep yourself contained and <laughs> do it well, on the seven races? You know, I kept myself contained last year until Polokwane with the minor mishap in practice, which, is, which was avoidable. Um, just the way everyone went about it, they didn't understand from my perspective, so it was a bit blown out of proportion. Yeah. Um, but then again, at Vereniging, you know, we struggled with my car, I had to quickly swap, adapt, and I don't think we're too bad. I was happy with the fourth in the final because we didn't have the pace all weekend. So coming home with the fourth, just missed the podium, you know what, we, we got points, so that's, we, that's all we can ask for. Right, so you 19, Magnus is 18, he just turned 18 as well. Yeah. And uh, have you ever thought of him as someone that's now a competitor against uh, you? He's always been a competitor against me. I mean, Paul Kwane, he was quick. For anything, he was quick. Uh, now he's not in France's car, he's in a new car, so let's see how that goes. Because uh, France's car is that one that's on the trailer for a month off it and it's on the button. Uh, so he's going to be another uh, quick competitor, always has been and look forward to what he can bring. When you sitting, well this year that's passed, when you have to go racing tomorrow, who's the one person in your mind, or isn't there that one person in your mind that's actually the one that gives you the, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, it's more of a, who's going to challenge me? See if Rudy uh, are always on top, they're always quick. My dad is always loitering there, you know, Magnus is in and out. But it's, it's always how are you going to better yourself, how, where are you going to find the lap times, where are you going to find the point one, the point two, whatever you're looking for. You know, I see this Hot Rod series this year as one of the toughest years because everyone I speak to, there's not one oak that they can point out. Yeah. They're always talking about everyone that's fast. Yeah. There's a top 8 cars, top 10 cars, top 15 cars. I think there was one race, there was 15 or 20 cars within one second or half a second of each yeah. other. I can't remember. Last round at Frenichen. It was half a second or something. Yeah. And, Very close. And that is tough racing, guys. And now you look at youngsters like this, that's thrown into it. I think it's stressful. You know, I, I got thrown into my first race at the Dazdorp uh, with my mom's car, with the likes of Nico and Rudy. And I started second on the grid next to Nico. And, you know, getting stuck in there, it's not like nervous. It's you've actually accomplished something to get in the class and run in the top three. And right now, if you're in the top 10, you're actually the quick, you, so you're in one of the quickest groups in the country. You're in the elite group then. <laughs> yes, the elite group. Are you hoping to, do you think you'll win this year? Oh, it's a long season. I can't say. Just like to bag points, you know, stay out of the sticky business, keep noses clean and just have a real good tour this year and come out saying I've bettered myself.
that's awesome for a youngster like you to say that words. Yeah. It's not many, you know, when, when kids come and their dads can buy them cars, build them cars, they actually become brats. Yeah. There's a lot of kids that become brats. And I hope that you can stand there and show kids out there that you here to race and you here for them to look up to and you can keep yourself contained that way. You know, because at the end of the day, it's about how all these young kids look up to you as a person. So it's very hard for you not to lose yourself because you have to think of all that behind you, yeah. you know. And then your, your dad that's on the Wamsa board, it's your mom that's yeah. so busy in it. It must be tough. Whoa. Sitting at home at night and saying, Dad, I'm racing against you, I'm not holding back for you, this is stuff you. Yeah, it was always a sort of banter between the two until it became reality. Um, but we've just had to deal with it and as a youngster, 19, I mean, you don't think about people looking up to you because you're still looking up to people. Uh, but then they remind you when you and interval and they all there for autographs they remind you that they're actually here for the sport and you need to give something back to the fans what do you think about who do you want marnus what the time boy hey sis come come on you rain is so early right i'm sitting here with marnus do you see How old are you? 18. 18. Okay, you can ask Africa as for after. Okay, no problem. Yes, 18. And how long are you in our races? I think 6 years. 6 years? Where did you begin? I started in Rookies. Begin, and then I went to Miami. And then I stopped Rots. Then 60. And then I went to Rots. And then I went to Rots. Yeah. So, by racing you did it. Oh, by good you did it. Ik was bij een COC voor jou al. Je hebt al bij je uitgekakt, nee? <laughs> maar je hebt al bij een goede raad gegeven. Ja. <laughs> je hebt goed gedaan, nou met die Engelse zaterdag. Je hebt bij je goed gedaan. Ja, dat was een rijt. En nu bij je gestamp. En... Wat je opgeëindigd? Ik heb... En... Ik heb het eerste gekomen, overal. Voor jou. Oh. En dus al die ons van die UK en dat is goede drijvers. Maar hulle reed met ons karre hier wat hulle kom self voorberei, ne? Ek dink nie, hulle het redelijk self voorberei nie, maar hier Marijsjo het meer of meeste van die goed gedoen. Hulle het nie goed gedamaged. Ja. <laughs> Dat ons het so stel. <laughs> en hulle weet nie wat praat is van nie, so het mag nie sacht nie, ons kan sê hoe rabies het hulle gerei, hulle sal nie weet nie. Ons kinder moest lekker nou, <laughs> hulle sal moet een translate kry vir ons. Rijn, nou wat is jou plan en nou dat jy hier die routerie gerei het? for 2019. Okay, wat well, like, was so sê? Wat jy op geëindig met die kar in die championship? Ek het vierde plek, vierde klag gemaakt in die primes. Ek was paar punte van daar af. En ek het net drie reise, twee en een halwe reise gereik. Okay. So, my reise is baie, het hy net een reise gereik in die gebreek, by Petersburg, het hy net twee iets gereik. Ander het hy al my punte wel gevat. En te raak het ek hier, het ek hier aan daar gekom en my, en Ultimate die goeie keer aan, daar gekom in eerste in Paramount. En nou vir 2019, wat is jou plan? Ach, ek sal wat draai goed doen. Dis een nieuwe kar, nieuwe dinge. Nieuwe kar, wat net jylle begin met hierdie kar? Wat is die story met hierdie kar nou achter? Ons sê, jy gaan film Jackson opzit. Hy het klaar, slop vir hom, om die borde oor gedoen. Ek het nou wat, waar kan ons die kar vannig maak? Dank je Frans gaan om diezelfde kruis als hier ik kan. Wat zo? En als het niet diezelfde voel niet wat gaan we hier aan? Ik weet niet wat. Want als ik om elkaar ga die chillen, dan moet ik weg gaan. Als ik jou zie met die racing, nee, waar je loopt, loop je op paas aan. Geef je op paas je bij je pressen. Redelijk, maar hij is altijd daar voor mij. Is dat? Is hij altijd daar? Hij is altijd daar, zo. Is niet nooit. Tien mei of is altijd zo. En als je gestamp het of iets fout gedoen het, geef je harde tijd of. Ik doe het maar als je moet vergeten van ons wat recht maakt. Is het? Ja. Zo iedereen toch een nice pa. Mijn pa zal me geslagen het, wat? Yes, je hebt gelijk. En ga je die eerste reis rijden met die kar? Ik hoop zo als ik klaar is. Yes. Hier die kar is die mooiste. Ik kom kijken of ik hier die kar rijd ver van klaar. The body is still loose. There's still lots of dents here. 
Mas nung sa aliana mo sa karaoke, kaya nung blanka nyo, what's that yan? Hij is nu 18 jaar oud. Hij is nu real op die oval, die topkar. Kijk, in die karre, sy categorie is hierdie die topkar. Maar in Suid-Afrika is hierdie een van die vinnigste reising wat jy kan kry. Waan toe van hier af. Ek weet nie, as jy as iemand my syke raak sien of kry sponsor, as jy lang baan rai van no kap of super edge as jy bestel as jy belang stel om om op die lang baan te raak en wat denk jy oor lang baan reisies en oor oval track reisies, wat denk jy is harder? ek denk oval track reisies is harder en is allemaal is naar om mekaar lang baan is ver hy is naar om mekaar maar nie so close is Nee, is net soos as jy dink, want ek meen, ek het ou wil gerei, ek het rei langbaan, ek rei nog steeds langbaan, en langbaan is baie meer relaxed. Ou wil is, as ek kan ondou, nee, as jy nie kar in klim, al die kar is so na by aan mekaar, die baan is so klein, jy is amper so mal mens daar binne, dit is ook om, mense beklei, mense boks, mense gaan mal in die ou wil in, want, is so tough racing, maar eindelijk vandagse oval track racing is baie different as tevore die ouwens is eindelijk gentleman nou en dinge is eindelijk baie baie high class, upper class soos ek kan sê en ja nee, Maren is 18 jaar oud, baie baie goed gedoen en ek hoop jy gaan goed doen hierdie jaar geluk voor hem toe my serie